The Flow Rate Technical Group is a group of scientists and engineers from the United States federal government, universities, and research institutions created May 19, 2010, for an official scientific-based estimate of the flow of oil in the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. It issued an interim report on May 27. It was convened again on June 10 by Coast Guard Admiral Thad Allen after the drilling riser from the well was cut by Max 3 ROV dive No. 35 on May 31, 2010, in an attempt to redirect the flow. Large amounts of oil were not being captured and the group was convened to estimate how much. Membership. <inaudible> <inaudible> The group is led by Marsha McNutt. Members of the group are Bill Lair, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration led. Alberto Aliceda, Assistant Professor of Mechanical Engineering, University of Washington Paul Bomber, Senior Lecturer, Petroleum and Geosystems Engineering, University of Texas at Austin Peter Cornelin, Professor of Oceanography, University of Rhode Island Pedro Espina, National Institute of Standards and Technology Juan Lacheras, Professor of Engineering and Applied Sciences, University of California, San Diego Ira Leifer, ASSOC. Researcher, Marine Science Institute, University of California Santa Barbara James Riley, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, University of Washington Omer Savas, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, University of California Berkeley Franklin Schaefer, Senior Research Engineer, National Energy Technology Laboratory, Department of Energy Steve Werley, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Purdue University Pujitha Yappa, Professor of Civil and Environmental Engineering, Clarkson University <inaudible> Plume modeling Uses video of the oil-gas mixture escaping from the damaged well, using particle image velocimetry analysis to estimate fluid velocity and flow volume. Topic. Mass balance Used remote sensing data from deployment of the Airborne Visible Infrared Imaging Spectrometer and satellite imagery to calculate the amount of oil on the ocean surface for each day. The figures were corrected the value for oil evaporated, skimmed, burned, and dispersed up to that day and divided by time to produce an average rate. Victor Labson, Director, Crustal Geophysics and Geochemistry Science Center led. Roger N. Clark, Lead Scientist, Research Physical Scientist Greg A. Swayze, Research Geologist Todd M. Hoffman, Research Geophysicist Raymond Coakley, Research Geophysicist K. Eric Levo, Research Geophysicist Michael H. Powers, research geophysicist Jeffrey S. Plumley, research geologist Gregory P. Meeker, research geologist Reservoir modeling Describes the geologic formations as well as composition and pressures of the oil, natural gas, and other compounds that are being released. Using open hole logs, pressure, volume, and temperature data, core samples, and analog well or reservoir data, the team will populate computer models and determine flow rate from targeted sands in the well as a function of bottomhole pressure. Don McClay, Petroleum Engineer, MMS Gulf Regional Office led. Other MMS Engineers Nodal analysis 
uses input from reservoir modeling including pressure, temperature, fluid composition and properties over time and pressure and temperature conditions at the leak points on the sea floor, along with details of the geometries of the well, bop, and riser to calculate fluid compositions, properties, and fluxes from both before and after riser removal. George Guthrie, National Energy Technology Laboratory, Department of Energy lead. Roger Ains, Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, Department of Energy Grant Brommel, National Energy Technology Laboratory, Department of Energy David Hetrick, Oak Ridge National Laboratory, Department of Energy Brian Morreale, National Energy Technology Laboratory, Department of Energy Kurt Oldenburg, Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, Department of Energy Rajesh Pawar, Los Alamos National Laboratory, Department of Energy Judd Verdon, Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, Department of Energy